What's up Vikings, Coach Vaughn here to break down why your kettlebell is smacking you at the forearm. This is a painful learning process, it's frustrating, I know I've been there. It didn't take till I got some good coaching cues to really understand it. And in my coaching career, personally, it's really teaching someone a swing, clean, and snatch complex. Because if I were to take a picture of your backswing, I shouldn't be able to tell if you're gonna do either of the three. That shows you how good it looks. So let's put, peel it back layer by layer to understand how the kettlebell works by taming the arc. So when doing a one-arm swing, there's actually more lat and glute engagement. And I got this from Pavel's book, Simple and Sinister. He found that a two-arm swing produces more power. But the one-arm swing, you have to resist more rotation, packing your lat and your glute. So that lat, just think if I was pulling on it, you got the solid, stable shoulder right there sucking it into the socket with that lat. Makes a huge difference with your kettlebell training. Next. Obviously, hip hinge. We want to push the hips back with a little bit of knee flexion. You do not want to pull the kettlebell like this, and it's going to start looking very ugly and translating into that slam we see right there. So, and here's what we can do is do a swing clean. Notice how my elbow goes out in the one-arm swing, stays connected to my torso in the clean, so I'm not doing this. The this is tame, the arc taming me. That's another reason why it slams. You're letting it go too far out. So swing, clean. It kind of looks like a low holster position like you'd see in the Old West. They kind of keep it right here. They're not doing this. They keep it in tight right there. So you can kind of teach that same thing with a lighter kettlebell. And just think, keep your elbow connected to your torso and you're gonna zip up the jacket. That's another good cue right here. Think you're zipping up and zipping down the jacket. The elbow stays connected. And then that split second right there that teaches the hand to relax so it can rotate. Because if I death grip my hand right here, look at this. I death grip, I death grip. That's why it happens. But if I let my palm just open for that split second right here, it just naturally rotates. So give that little bit of time for it to rotate. Don't fight it. Makes a huge difference. So next, let's get to the snatch. Um, the difference between a clean and a snatch is the clean goes around, the snatch goes over the wrist. So they like to view it more like that. So if you teach a front snatch, I learned this from Fabio Zidane from Strong First, master instructor, and you just punch right here, see that? I give a little bit of room, show you slow motion here, for my elbow to stay connected, and I punch through right here, and it flips right over real strong, once again, that lat engagement. So if you have trouble snatching overhead, try the front snatch and that will give you a better translation. Now I'll show you from the front here, we talked about that low pull position like that holster. Now you gotta have a little bit more of a high pull position up here so you can punch through. So you can try to get that down here. So high pull is just driving with that hip and then this, I just punch through, punches through. Pull it back in, high pull, snatch. See if you can try that. So pull it down, take that little pause in your breath if you need to. High pull, snatch, pull it in. So let's do all three, get into it. So I'm going to chop up my hips. Hips are nice and stable, lat, Tilted it right there. Swing. Clean. Snatch. And then pull it down. I'm gonna show you now what, the arc, what it looks like if the arc is taming me. Rotating too much. Pulling it long. Using my hips like a stripper. And just going back and forth, letting the bell go above and below my knees there. So think, keep that bell above the knees, punch through. Clean, tight. Pause right here if you need to. Punch through. Pull it back down. So I hope that helped. Uh, if you like, if you got more questions, feel free to put a comment down below. If you'd like to see more, check out my book, The Kettlebell Weights, featuring over 100 pages, breaking down swing, clean, snatch, squat, get up, all in detail, all in one source. You can get it in paperback or Kindle format at Amazon.com. This is Coach Vaughn signing off. Hope you have fun with that.